Hello everybody and welcome. My name is Tony and I'm here with the Everyday Counts program. And we have an hour together for chair yoga. And today we'll be focusing on building body awareness. So just tuning in to the sensations and the indications our body gives us as we move through a chair yoga practice. Everything that I offer you is optional. If it doesn't feel right in your body, there is absolutely no need to do it. If you're not quite sure, you can always imagine doing it first and go from there. Start small, build upwards, and don't be concerned about what you managed to do last week as opposed to today. Yoga practice is about the here and now, and we honor where our body feels right in moving today. So again, more is not better in yoga. It's just where we are in this moment and what feels right to us. And we can only really figure that out if we learn body awareness and learn to tune in to what it is that our body is telling us. So with that said, make sure that the chair you're on is stable. Make sure you've got a whole lot of space around you so when we move you're not bumping yourself. And then if you need to sit into the back of your chair for support to start with, please go ahead. Otherwise I do encourage you just to shuffle forward a little bit and see how that feels for you. And if it feels like you need the support behind you and that feels better in your body, then take it. Otherwise, you can come forward and back as much or as little as you like throughout the class. Feet are around about a comfortable distance for you. And again, comfortable for you, not what it looks like for anybody else. This is very much about what it feels like inside with absolute disregard to how it looks. So a comfortable distance for you. We can only figure that out by kind of playing around and seeing what feels right for us. More or less, if we have our ankles underneath our knees, we have a little bit of stability there rather than if they're tucked underneath us or out in front, so you can check that out. And then rooting down into the feet, whether you've got socks on, shoes on, slippers, or if you're bare feet, imagine or spread your toes as wide as you can and take those toes down to the support underneath you. Maybe even pushing down a little bit through the toes. Don't forget about those pinky toes too, not just the big toes. Balls of your feet, so the widest part of your feet and the heels too. So we'll take a moment here and feel free to soften your gaze down, lower your gaze or even close your eyes if you're comfortable. Take all your awareness down to the soles of your feet. Notice which parts of your feet are supported underneath you, which are touching different surfaces. Notice the different textures of those surfaces and the qualities of those surfaces, whether they're solid or whether they're soft. Notice whether you're leaning more to the outside or inside edge of your feet, the back or the front of your feet. No judgments, just a curiosity. If you're pushing pressure down into those feet, then just release that now. And then consider the support that your feet have the support ultimately of the earth underneath you, always there for us. And allow your feet to be held by that support. Notice if you are resisting any of that and if there's any tension that you can release to really deepen into that support underneath your feet. Notice if there's anything else that you feel in your feet. Again, no judgment, no stories, just a curiosity. Our feet are a great place for us to feel that support, to feel that groundedness, especially as a juxtaposition as most of us live way up here in our head and all the thoughts. So it's a really great practice to start to simply notice your feet.
Notice sensations. Notice where you feel those sensations. And then an open curiosity to what it is those sensations could be telling you. And this is a practice, and if you have no idea, no big deal. We're going to take our awareness up through our legs now. So from our hips all the way down through to our feet. Be curious. Tap in, notice if you feel a sensation. Notice if your immediate go-to is the story attached to that and see if you can step back from that and simply notice what you feel. Notice your right leg as opposed to your left leg. And notice them together. Awareness to your seat as it is supported in the chair. Same thing as the soles of our feet, sit deeply into that seat, release tension as best as you can. Notice if you're sitting more to one side than the other, front to back. And by noticing, it gives us an opportunity to shift and adapt things and check things out, play around a little bit. So we have the opportunity to change. Take your awareness up into your torso. Notice the entire torso, notice sensations. Awareness to the back of your torso, your back body. Releasing tension if you find it as best as you can. Notice the front of your torso. Releasing any tension that you find in any way. If the sensation, what is it trying to tell you? And if you're not sure, then it doesn't matter. You're just paying attention. Notice to your arms, both arms. Sensations, what your body is letting you know. Tension, and if you can release any of that. Awareness up into your neck, throat and head, into your face. Aware of sensations, aware of what they may be telling you, or just simply open your awareness to what's present without trying to analyze it or figure it out. And then spread that awareness to your whole body from the soles of your feet right up to the crown of your head, down to your fingertips, front and back, inside and out. Awareness to your body. Notice which place is familiar, which places are louder, but also notice the quiet places too. The places that whisper rather than shout. Notice tension in different places, and if there's an opportunity or a possibility of releasing some of that tension, go ahead. Most of the time we don't even notice we're holding so much tension in our body. And these are inquiries you can come back to at any time during your practice or your day. When you're ready, take a full breath in. Exhale it out and notice how that changes your body. Notice how the inhale feels and how the exhale feels. If 
it feels okay to you breathing in and out through the nose, but if that's not okay, then no big deal. Again, this practice is your practice. You get to allow it to unfold in your own way, doing as much or as little as you want. We find that sensation of the support underneath our feet. We find the sensation underneath our seat. Deeply resting into those places, feeling supported. We then have the opportunity to lift up through the spine, through the crown of the head. Consider widening your collarbones and softening the shoulders. And all of these things are an opportunity to tune in, to notice how it feels in your body and give yourself permission to switch and change things, to adapt for today. Notice your breath when you are ready. Inhaling and exhaling, maybe a little longer. Without forcing, no forcing with the breath at all. A little deeper, a little longer breath in and out in your own rhythm. Again, this is about how it feels for you and not about a right and wrong. Steadying out the breath as best as you can. So smoothing the inhale and steadying the exhale. Notice as you're doing that, if tension has crept up in your body, relax and release as best as you can. And if that means changing up how you're seated, please go ahead. This is about permission. This is about listening to what your body's telling you and giving yourself permission to act on that. So we have these longer, smoother breaths in and out as best as we can. And again, we're not ever looking for perfect. We're just trying with what we have today. And then with that breath, that longer, smoother breath, I invite you to let go of any forcing of the breath. And this is the breath I'll keep reminding you to come back to, this longer, smoother, but softer quality of breath. And this is a great place to dive back into, to pause within your practice, going back to the breath, to then tune into the body to notice sensations. Notice that language of sensation that is the body's way of letting us know what is going on and how we need to change and adapt our practice. Again, I'm going to say once again, this practice is about how it feels for you, changing and adapting the practice to feel better for you and letting go of any idea that there could be a right and a wrong. So we root through our feet in our seat, we lift from there. We've got the steady and stable breath. And from there, we're going to take the nose all the way over towards the right side as much as feels comfortable. Relaxing, steadying the body, steadying the breath. On the inhale, we lift up and exhale over towards the left. And that's the movement. Inhaling up, exhaling over to the other side with your breath. So notice if you're creating a breath that fits in with your movement, or if that is the case, see if the breath can guide the movement. Notice how this feels. Notice 
where you feel it in your body. Notice if there's anything you can do to adapt or change it to feel better. And this is about playing around with the movement, making it smaller, bigger, pausing, resting. Two more either side, unless you're resting. And again, sensations in the body. Where are you feeling that? Even if you're not quite sure what it is that it's telling you, last one here, we pay attention. Pause whichever side you're on. Release tension where you can. This is now the inhale on the exhale. The chin comes down and over to the other side and up. And that's the movement, as if with the very chin we're drawing a smile in the air, inhaling and exhaling. Notice how your body feels, how it's letting you know that. Inhaling and exhaling. Always resting, always doing less if the sensation are really loud if it's a lot. Two more either side. And then the next time the chin comes down towards the chest or when you're ready, we'll keep it there just for a few breaths. Noticing if you can change things up by leaning forward or back, opening through the shoulders or the collarbones. Notice how that changes the movement. Steady breath, longer, smoother, softer for one more breath unless you're coming up early. And then on an inhale, up we come. Big breath in, exhale it out. And if you're feeling like this is a lot, then it is a lot to pay attention to. So just take on as much or as little as feels right for you today. From here, we're gonna take the um, elbows in, soft elbows. On the inhale, we're drawing the right elbow up, back, and on exhale, we're gonna taking it over, which naturally brings the left shoulder back elbow, inhaling up, back and over. So it's a very small movement to start with. It can be as big or as small as you like. Again, the breath is guiding you and we're paying attention to sensations in the body. Those elbows can come back up and forward and across as much or as little as feels good for you. If you want to add belly draws into the spine, we round the back a little and we focus on the back body. Noticing where you feel the sensation in your body. Opening up through especially the back of the heart, the back of the ribs, the shoulders, but again, there's no right and wrong where place of noticing sensation here. Another couple of breaths. And then when you're ready, we'll come all the way back to center, rooting to rise. Steady breath, longer, smoother, and softer. And this time we bend the elbows, we go the other way. So, right arm, up, back, and on the exhale, it comes back and down. And then the left arm too. Same thing, we've got a slight twist in the body. It's a little bit like backstroke in the pool. As big or as small as you like. Noticing again, where you feel this in your body. Stay away from the stories as to um, the judgments and just notice. Notice if changing up the movement feels better for you. And that can be more, it can be less, it can be that you need to give yourself permission to rest and do less. Option to lift up through the heart so we have a slight extension of the spine. Inhaling and exhaling, steady and smooth. 
another two either side or resting. Where is it that this movement is most present in your body? Mm -hmm. And then we'll come back to center. Rooting to rise, longer, smoother, steadier breaths. We have these pauses in between to tune back into your whole body and notice, just notice. From here, hands are going to come up either cactus, fingertips on or towards the shoulders, or hands can be clasped behind the head. Whichever one feels most comfortable for you, on the inhale, we're taking the elbows out wide, wherever you are. And on the exhale, you're going to draw the elbows towards each other. They may not ever get there. Inhaling wide, exhaling together. And again, paying attention. Noticing on that inhale if you're jutting your front ribs forward and on the exhale if you're drawing your belly in, if you can keep the spine as neutral as possible so the movement really is up there in the shoulders, whichever movement you have chosen, inhaling and exhaling, the inhaling is wider. And again, where do you notice this? Is one side very different from the other and you need to make um, adaptions, accommodations for one side or the other. Breath is guiding the movement. You have another two. Last one. when you've finished with that exhale we'll take the hands down back to support any movements you need to soften any tension go ahead longer smoother softer breaths building body awareness rooting down feet and seat rising from there longer smoother steadier breaths on the inhale, you're going to take those hands back, open up through the heart, elbows come back. On the exhale, fingertips come towards the knees, belly draws into the spine and we round. Inhaling and exhaling, seated cat and cow. This can be a big movement or small movement. You can get your head involved, inhaling, lifting the chin, exhaling, drawing the chin down. Again, that's going to add sensation in different parts of your body. Noticing if it feels comfortable for you, if it feels sustainable in the movement, if you need a break. You can add on by adding those pelvic tilts on the inhale, we're sending the tailbone out behind us. You can even imagine dragging the heels back towards the chair and on the exhale, pushing the toes away as we sit onto the back of the pelvis as the, we tilt the pelvis in a posterior tilt. Inhaling and exhaling. Just be curious. Notice where you feel this. Is the sensations you're feeling good because you're moving or is the sensations in different parts of your body telling you to ease off inhaling and exhaling we've got another few breaths here last one mm-hmm Coming all the way back up to center. Nicely done. Big breath in. Exhale, releasing any tension and letting that go. From here, coming into a twist, we're going to be using the arms. So on the inhale, we're going to take the arms up. Cactus the arms. This is um, option number one. Elbows can be down or up, your choice. 
that's the inhale. On the exhale, we're gonna twist to one side. Inhale back to center and exhale to the other side. Option number one. Option number two, fingertips go up as wide or as close together as feel good for you. On the exhale, cactus the arms and we're twisting one way and we're twisting the other way. So when you're ready, your choice. Arms are involved. On the inhale, we're center, exhale, twisting to one side. You can take the gaze back behind you if that feels okay in your neck. Inhale to center and exhale to the other side. Notice what's happening in your lower body. If anything's shifting from the pelvis down, see if you can root your seat and root your feet. If you're lifting up through the arms, notice if it feels better to have the arms wider or close together as they come up. And again, give yourself permission to change this up. Adapt it in any way. Inhaling and exhaling. Two more either side or resting. Last one. And coming all the way back to center. Taking the arms down, rolling through the shoulders in one direction. And again, feel free to soften your gaze, close your eyes. A great way of tuning inwards to your body, noticing what's happening. And go around in the opposite direction. Last one here. Beautifully done. Hands back to support. Big breath in. Exhale it out, releasing tension where you can. Tune back into your body and notice how you're feeling. You can stay here for as long as you like, tuning in. Or when you're ready, you're going to take those feet just a little bit wider. External rotation. Rooting down, feet in seat, and rising from there. And if you're sitting way into the back of your chair, you may want to come forward a few millimeters just so you have a little bit of option for moving. Hands are supporting you, and then we're circling through the ribs. And again, as big or as small as you like, there's no right and wrong here. This is about what feels okay in your body. Pausing and resting if it does not feel okay, but allowing this movement to be as mindful as possible, as fluid as you can make it, letting go of any idea of what it should look like. This is about how it feels. And if there's places that feel really good, slow it down there. And if there's places that you that don't feel really good, then spend less time there or ease that area. We're going to go around in the other direction when you're ready. Smoothing and steadying. Again, if, you, if it feels stable for you, close your eyes, go inside. Notice, be aware of what your body signals are telling you and where they're coming from. Give yourself permission to change things up to accommodate those messages. One more here. And when you're ready, we'll come back to center. Rooting to rise, if you need to adjust anything to feel better 
in your body, please go ahead. On the inhale, we're going to take that right arm out, thumb to the sky, around about shoulder height, but soften through the joints. Spine is um, reaching up towards the sky through the crown of the head. This is the inhale. On the exhale, without moving the spine, we're tapping to the inside of that right thigh. And it depends on the length of your bones as to how you, how you get there. Inhaling and exhaling. Rooting to rise, feet in seat, noticing how this feels. If it feels okay and you want to add on, we're going to take that right arm up on a diagonal towards where the ceiling meets the wall. And on the exhale, we're going to swing that arm across, maybe take it more towards the knee as we bring the shoulder, right shoulder forward, left shoulder comes back. So we're getting a twist in the spine here. Inhaling, you can even take that arm back. So we're getting these diagonal lines now. Inhaling and exhaling. You can take the gaze with that thumb if you like, or keep your gaze fixed in front of you. That's going to give you more stability. And again, where are you feeling this? Great place to stay. Adding on. Bring the belly into the spine as you draw the arm across and notice sensation differences as that happens. So we're getting an extension in the spine on the inhale as the, um, we lengthen through the front of the body as the arm comes back a little bit like um, in cow pose when we were seated, get that extension. And on the exhale, we're getting a flexion of the spine as we draw the belly in, draw the hand across, inhaling and exhaling. And the hand doesn't have to reach anywhere. We're moving with your intuition, with what your body is telling you. You can take that hand a little further down. That's going to add sensation in different parts of your body. So notice if that feels right for you or if it doesn't. Put another three breaths here. Extension and flexion. Last one, if you're not resting already. And we'll come back to center. Nicely done. Rearranging yourself, tuning back into your body as you're resting. Come back to the breath. Same thing, other side. Left arm comes out, easy joints to start with. This is the inhale. And that hand can come back as far as is comfortable for you. Can be forward of the body, at the side of the body, or back, your choice. This is the inhale. Exhale with a long spine, neutral spine. We're tapping the hand down towards the inner left, uh, right thigh. Inhaling and exhaling. This may be enough. Take that hand up towards where the wall meets the ceiling. So we're getting that diagonal line and that hand can come as back as far as it feels comfortable in your shoulder. And then the add-on is that we um, bring a gentle twist as we take that left hand towards that right knee. It doesn't matter if it ever gets there. Again, we're not worried about what it looks like. We want to tune into sensation here. If you want to add on, we're extending as we Arch the back some more. You can take that left hand back and take the gaze with it if that feels comfortable and stable for you. Exhaling, belly into the spine, and we're rounding. So, noticing how this feels. And if it doesn't feel right to you, give yourself permission to come back to a place where it does. And if that's resting, then great. Inhaling and exhaling. Exhaling. You can take that hand down as much as you like. You can take the hand up as much as you like. Make sure you're supporting yourself in your own way with your breath, with your movements, with your comfort level. We've got two more. Coming all the way back up, rolling through the shoulders, readjusting yourself. 
Coming in for shoulder dips, getting a little bit of a twist, but we're coming forward and down. So going to the left to start with. Hands to the upper legs. This is the inhale on the exhale. We're gonna dip that right shoulder forward and down. Glance to the left. Inhaling up, exhaling to the left. Make sure you feel stable as we're coming forward. It may feel more comfortable if you sit further back on your chair. You get to play around and decide. Dipping that right shoulder down and forward. As much or as little movement as feels good. And you'll know because the breath is easy and steady and smooth and soft. And you'll know because you're starting to tune in to those body sensations. Does it feel better if we back off? Rest. Does it feel good? One more here going to the other side, rooting to rise. This is the inhale on the exhale, turning to the right, dipping the left shoulder down, inhaling and exhaling. And again, this is your practice. You get to change this up. You get to adapt and adjust any of the movement in a response to your body and its reaction to the movement and the sensation that you're tuning into. And it's about playing with the movement. We've got another two. Last one here. Coming all the way up to center. Take a breath in. Exhale it out, and from here, we're taking the legs in. Mm -hmm. So for those of you who want to come down to the floor, then you can make your way down to the floor now. If you want to stay seated in your chair, where we're going to go is thread the needle when we're down on the floor. I'll just guide you through the movements. So for thread the needle, option to take the feet in and take the right leg out. Option to lift the right leg up on support. So if you've got some yoga blocks or a stack of books or that ankle can come on top of the knee if that's accessible for you. From here, option to come forward wherever you are and release. And then, Coming into cow face pose, we're gonna cross over the thighs, the shins, the ankles, or keep everything together. And then we're coming into a twist, which can be your own twist. Happy baby on the floor, which we're not going to get into on the chair. And then we're resting. So for those of you who want to come down to the floor, and I'll see you there. Others, if you prefer to stay in the chair, please do what feels right to you. Here we are down on the floor. If you need any extra softness underneath you, please layer up some towels or fold over a blanket. A pillow for the back of your head if it feels comfortable for you, more comfortable than lying down on the floor and we're going to come all the way down onto our backs making any adjustments for you to feel comfortable here big breath in exhale it out come back to those longer smoother softer breaths and notice being down on the floor if you are how this changes things up for your body, how it feels being here. And it takes a moment to kind of settle into the new support underneath us. Noticing once again, if there's tension and you're resisting that support, if there's anything you can do to release tension, 
with those steady breaths, we're bringing the right knee in. Give yourself a little hug here. And while we're here, you can circle through that right ankle. Again, everything slow and steady. We're paying attention to where you feel it. Taking that round in the opposite direction when you're ready. Resting. And then from here, we'll take that left thigh, take the right foot on top of the left thigh. So we've got a figure four here. The further away your left foot is from your seat, the easier that is on your right hip. So you get to change that up and decide for yourself what feels best for you. A little flex in that right ankle to shorten the tendons and ligaments in the right knee to support and keep that knee safe. Excellent place to be right here. Paying attention not only to the hip, but to every part of your body, and especially pay attention to that right knee. From here, if you want to add on, you can draw that left heel closer to your seat and see how that feels. Option to take the left foot up off the floor and draw the left thigh into the belly. Hands on the outer side of the thigh, underneath that knee or even in front of that shin depending on what feels good for you both feet are flexed if they're off the floor steady breath and if the breath is not steady please do less and you get to play here by drawing the left thigh in closer towards your belly you're adding sensation to the left hip is that what your body needs right now? Or do you need to back off and do less? You have another few breaths here. Really honor what your body's telling you. Pay attention to those sensations and adapt and change the shape for your own body to feel better. On the exhale, I'm going to take that left foot down if it's not there already. From here, releasing that right ankle, taking the right knee back in towards the chest. Left knee comes in too. Give yourself a little hug. Knees can be wide or close together depending on how it feels. Arms support you, so hands by your hips cactus or at a T shoulder height and we'll take those legs up towards the sky. Right leg comes over the left right up by the crotch as far up by your pelvis as you can. Excellent place to be right here. Might be already quite a lot in that right hip. If so, this is where you stay. Knees don't have to be straight, can be softly bent. Next option is to bend the knees, take the hands towards the knees and we're drawing the right upper leg in towards the belly and there may not be that much room there. Sensations in the body, particularly paying attention to that right hip. Option to stay here, slide the hands down the shins or even depending on the length of your bones to the outer feet and we're drawing everything down towards the belly. Longer, smoother, softer breaths. Steadiness in the breath. Paying attention to what it is that your body is telling you. Another few breaths here in your own time. Always backing off early if you want to. And the exhale, next time we release wherever we're holding and that left foot comes down to the floor. Right leg crossed over. From here, option to stay. 
Option to shift the hips over to the right side. And then the option here is to send that whole shape towards the left. Right hip lifts up completely, and here we are in a twist. That right foot can support you on the floor, or you can take a bolster, blanket, blocks, anything you need to to support your legs. Right shoulder stays grounded, and we breathe. Option if that right shoulder is grounded to take the gaze away from the knees over the right shoulder. Longer, smoother, softer breath. And tune into your body here. Releasing tension where you can. And maybe that's adjusting the shape. Another few breaths here. Gaze comes up to center when you're ready. Knees come up to center. Release the bind with the right leg and the hips come back to a central place. Make any adjustments you need to here. Same thing, other side. Longer, smoother, softer breaths, noticing how you're feeling. Noticing what your body's telling you. Left knee draws in, give it a little hug. Circle through the ankle if that feels okay for you. One direction, slow. Again, tuning in to different parts of your body, building that body awareness and back in the opposite direction. Noticing sensations as they come and as they go. Back to stillness, steady breath. And then the outer left ankle crosses over on top of the right thigh. The further that right heel is away from your seat, the easier it'll be in your left hip. So make accommodations to what feels right for you. Reflex in that left ankle, keeping that left knee safe, steady breath. And if you're here and it doesn't feel right in your body, then please come out, take another movement, accommodate for what it is you're learning your body's telling you. Option to stay here, option to draw that right upper leg into your belly, lifting the right foot up. Both feet are flexed here. Take the grip that suits you. Longer, smoother, softer breaths. Noticing how your body feels. Adjust and adapt for it to feel better for you. No right and wrong. Give yourself permission to do what you need. Couple more breaths here. And on that next exhale, or when you're ready, right foot comes down. From here, uncross the left leg, and the legs go up into the air, soft joints. Cross the left leg on top of the right, as close up towards the pelvis as you can. Option to stay here. This might already be quite a lot in the left hip. Option to bend the knees. Notice how that feels. Hands come to wherever is comfortable, drawing the knees down and towards your chest. And again, there's not going to be a lot of room there. So steady breath as best as you can. Staying here, or slide the hands down anywhere along the shins or even to the outer feet, depending on the length of your bones and your body. This is not about how it looks, this is about how it feels, particularly in that left hip. So steady breath. The breath is not steady, you know that something's not right. So listen to that, listen to the sensations your body is telling you, 
Notice what you're feeling this for another few breaths, unless you come out. Releasing where it feels comfortable for you and take that right foot down to the floor. Hands are supporting you by your hips in a cactus or a T and the hips shift to the left side. If this is not the twist for you, then take your favorite twist. Otherwise, with those bound legs, we're taking the knees over to the right side. Left hip lifts entirely from the floor, but the left shoulder is down. The left foot here can support you on the floor, or unless you have any props around, you can of course use those to support you. Gaze can come over that left shoulder if it's grounded. And we pay attention to what you're feeling, where you're feeling it. If there's adjustments you can make in the shape to make it feel more comfortable for you, to accommodate for what it is your body is asking you to do. Stay here for as long as you like while the gaze comes to center. When you're ready, the knees come to center too. Unbind if you're bound and the hips readjust back to a place where it's comfortable for you. Last movement here, happy baby. So lots of options, draw the knees in towards the belly. Take them as wide as feels comfortable, maybe even towards the armpits. Excellent place to stay right here. Heels are soft towards your seat. Option to take the feet up towards the sky. Flex the feet a little. Hands can be at the outer thighs, shins. You can even take the hands to the outer blades of the feet. And we're opening up through the groin as much as feels comfortable here. Steady breath. Notice where you're feeling this. If there's anything in your body telling you that this is not for you, please listen to it. You can be in stillness. You can soften from side to side and movement. Your choice here. And then when you're ready, release the heels back down, all the way down to the floor. You can take the feet wide, knees towards each other, and this is constructive rest, a great place to end your practice. Or coming into full relaxation, so whatever that means for you. So if that's lying on your back, if that's having props underneath your um, knees or the back of your thighs, pillow under your head, if that's having extra layers, if that's being on your side, on your belly, or resting on your bed, on a sofa close by, anything that feels comfortable. So take a little time and adjust yourself wherever it is that you find yourself most comfortable. And again, giving yourself permission when you're ready, take a breath in. Exhale it out, soft and slow. Another few breaths just like that, or we'll take a big breath in. Hold for a second. Soften the muscles. Take another breath in. Hold. Soften. Last sip of breath all the way in. Exhale it out, all the way out, and we release the breath entirely. Wherever you find yourself, tune in to all the places your body is held by support, all the places that support is holding you. Feel the texture and the quality of that support. Trust it and release your body into it. Allowing your 
yourself to be held here, making any small adjustments that you need to, to feel even 1% more comfortable. Spread your awareness out to your whole body here, as if it could fill up every cell. From the soles of your feet to the crown of your head to your fingertips and nose. Back body, front body, inside and out. Tune in to your body. Allow yourself to listen. Again, after you've listened, always adjusting to accommodate for what your body's telling you. Expand your awareness to all sensations. And then tune your awareness in to sensations of comfort. Of softness, of ease, no matter where those are. Get familiar with the sensation of ease, of comfort, even if it's in the very tip of your nose. And allow that ease, that comfort, that quietness to spread out from wherever you found it. Spreading out like a light or a color, that quality expanding until you feel it expanding to every part of your body. crown of your head to the tip of your toes, front body, back body, inside and out, as best as you can. Choosing the quality of ease. Notice tension that can be released. And within as much ease as you have found. And again, we're never looking for perfect. We're just trying with what we have in this moment. With that ease that you found, rest, nestle quietly within that. You can stay here for as long as you like, resting in that ease. If tension arises, do your best to soften it around the edges, giving yourself permission to be here. For those of you who would like to finish your practice, a 
expand your awareness out to your whole body without making any kind of move or change. Notice what you notice. Notice what's present. Notice what your body is feeling here. Notice where you feel it. Notice what the sensations may be telling you. And if nothing arises, no big deal. Try and get into the analytical mind. And starting to trust yourself. And build that awareness between yourself and your body, the container that you live in. that awareness to your body and all the information it's giving you start to deepen your breath on the inhale in your own way exhale like a soft sigh releasing continue with those mindful breaths in and soft long exhales out in your own way, in your own time, starting to bring soft movements into your body in your own way to awaken fingers and toes, ankles and wrists, taking your head slowly from side to side, always awareness to sensation, to the messages from your body and trust those messages and allow them to guide you into bigger movements if that was, is that's what your body needs today to awaken from this rest. And take the next few breaths to slowly feel into your body, giving yourself a hug, stretching, if you're on your back, maybe roll into one side or another and paying attention in another shape, tuning in. And over the next few breaths, we will meet in a place that you want to finish your practice. No right and wrong, it doesn't have to be seated. Hands coming into a gesture that feels right for you today. Take a breath in. When you're ready, dipping your chin down towards your chest, honoring your body. For one last time, take your whole body in your awareness and give it a breath of gratitude here for everything that it tells you for the information that it gives you, for the ability to listen to our body, to hear what it's telling us. I invite you to take this practice of body awareness into your everyday world and notice, just notice, no judgments, just being aware from my heart to yours Namaste. Thank you for practicing.